be what I would think. What was her name? Sarai. Okay, Sarai, Valir, and Zael. How are we doing? All right. Yeah, it's just been uh, the sleep problem's been really cumulative the last week, so I've like I've hit a bit of a wall, but I wanted to keep streaming, so we're doing her. Hey, Crimson, how's it going? You're doing the minstrel quest? I did those ones. Are you liking it? A lovable idiot. See, they're adorable. Mm. Hopefully she has the coin, because I don't have anything. Greetings, adventurers. Seek you passage across these waters? Oh, did you? How, how far are you in the, the, main, uh, the main story so far? The ferryman is a picky talker. Let me handle this. <laughs> Greetings, ferryman. We need you for a hairy plan. And show me your colored flame or leave this place in shame. We do not know the color you require, but our destination is quite dire. Ask me questions if you must, and information I might entrust. Look, we have to get to the necromancer's lair fast. Can't you just tell us which color you need? <laughs> he's not into it. Part of my lack of understanding, it seems you erred while speaking. Fine. Ahem. <laughs> Navigator of Bogs Unknown, take us to where the walls are made of bone. Where the walls are made of bone? That is a journey many have come to bemoan. But you seem to be in haste, and this life is yours to waste. A green flame present forthwith, and I shall take you to it. Such a thing we do not bear. Would you accept delayed payment of your fare? Unacceptable are these terms. For the destination, a colored flame confirms. We don't have time for this. You better figure it out, Sarai. I was saving it for something else, but you leave me no choice. You can use the coin? Now skip the word game and use your own green flame. <laughs> a coin of undead accord. Tell the undead complies, but a one-way trip is all this buys. We can worry about how to get back once we have a soul stone. And she rushed right into that. She just gave up her present. I knew she was the captain. not down for like a limerick challenge at that point. It is indeed the dead you hear, for the necromancer lives somewhere near. Apparently Deep L really leans towards like insults and swearing. Like, it, it always kind of shifts towards those contexts for some reason. I've had that happen in a few quests where I'm like, wow, they're being really ignorant to me. And I'm like, I feel like they wouldn't have said that, but I, I have no way of knowing what they're actually saying. Let's look around for her lair. Story of State is extravagant. Ooh, bloody graveyard. All right, we'll start a save two. Safety save will be the other one. I want to slim around in necro water.
What? Oh, it looks like there's a space there, but there's not. Yeah. <laughs> well, you saw those couple of screenshots I sent you. It's like when it said that, I was like, that that can't be right. I feel like that's not what that character would be saying. I'm taking a pause on the main story on Warbeard. I'm going to start. Um, uh, I want to catch up on some of the side quests. So I'm going to start working on that for a bit. I'm on I'm on 2.1. This guy. Greetings. I'm the keeper of this graveyard. I suggest you turn back as soon as possible, for the mistress of the place is not fond of company. Oh, fuck, Crimson. All right. Well, that's okay. We're gonna... I think we might take one final... Well, if I can get my sleep under control, we'll play Monster Hunter, but it's not looking like it. I don't want to deal with those guys, but I also need experience that I can level up. Sorry, I'm just taking a peek around. Well, that's fine. Like, enjoy it at your own pace, right? That's the whole thing. Um, I got really hooked on the story for a bit, and then, like, I was like, oh, shit, I'm at, like, 2.1 now. I gotta, like, slow down. So I'm going back and, like, doing side quests and stuff like that now to kind of take a chill break from it. Uh, but I also need to work on Belkrum. We hit all three, yeah, we can. I bought a house. Which was kind of cool. The housing system's neat. What? Why did he attack the other one? Hmm. Have you kind of zeroed in on what you want to play as yet, or are you just leveling up other vocations now? Mm. Okay. I want to do that, but they take so long. Like, they're all so long, but I guess that's fine. Like, I can just chill out and do them. Uh, but, like, the problem is, like, I'm also working on Belkrum to capture more storyline, right? Okay, I feel like I've checked everything around here. You know what? I bet I should just go kill those zombies. Because, like, I'm going to want to have, like, a good amount of experience and level up. Of course, they surrounded me. Now I can't use the sunball properly. Ah. <laughs> All right. There's, like, so much, like, when you get to the end of, like, 2.0, it, like, really opens up so many, like, daily and weekly activities. Well, it, actually, during one, there is as well. Uh, there's, like, um, weekly boss, boss-like attack things that you can do, uh, where you can fight bosses that you've already beaten again. Wow, she went down really quick. I can never time their fucking arm swing. Like, at all. And the move does so much damage. All right, let's try this move out. Yeah, it's like a baby heal. 
but it does defend us. There we go. Alright, well, I've already put us in a bad situation right off the bat. Actually. Okay, we'll have to attack with Zale. No, we'll have to attack with Belier. Get a blunt damage in. Fuck me. Man, fighting the skeletons was the worst idea ever had. Okay, then we want Sarai. Okay, we're in good shape. So there's like a daily... What was I saying? So there's like a daily... Um... Procedurally generated dungeon that you can do with like a party of people. You can go back and fight bosses that you've already beaten in like a more powerful form. Um, there's like all kinds of like really cool like activities that you can do. I really like it. Obviously, because I've been obsessively. Well, you know what? It's been a godsend this week since I haven't been able to sleep. So it's been something to do at night when I'm just sitting around awake. Alright, we'll kill that one. Alright, we're recovering. We're getting this back on my side. There's a lot more than that, but I, like, I don't want to spoil things if you care about that kind of thing, so... It's not story stuff, but it's still content, so I don't want to spoil it. Fuck, the undead enemies are brute. Okay, do you want me to tell you the other cool things I found to do? Because I will. Okay. So there's also a... There's a pyramid that you can go to, and it has nine crypts. And each crypt uh, gets progressively stronger as you go through. You can only do each crypt once a week, but that's where you get, like, accessories. Like, that's where you get accessory rolls and stuff like that. And it'll be like, you know, a big wave of enemies and then a boss kind of thing. And then there's a tower that has its own progression system that I haven't done yet. I'm at the tower, but then I had to go make dinner. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'll get to the tower like later on when I have some time. But the, uh, the boss rush mode seems to be really cool uh, just because it's a really good way to get experience points and stuff like that. These guys hit so goddamn hard. Like, actually ridiculous. Fuck. That's, I've noticed they have, like, a lot of little differences. Like, um... What is it? The minstrel, like, taps his feet and kind of dances around, whereas my druid uses a fan, and he just kind of, like, chills out with it, um... and kind of, like, moves it around a little bit. You know what? I gotta heal Zale is what I gotta do. And the other cool thing is like those dungeons that I was talking about where you can like do a procedural dungeon. Um, the other players you take with, you can put coins in a fountain at the beginning of the dungeon. And they can use those coins uh, to influence, like, what enemies and, like, bosses show up in the dungeon. Uh, but you only get, like, a top-tier chest once a day. You can do a bunch of the dungeons, but you only get, like, a top-tier chest once a day. And, um... Oh, here's something cool, Crimson. Uh, at the end of... You eventually get a zoom stone that'll let you go to any settlement or city in the entirety of version one. So you could just have them all in one slot, which is amazing.
And I got to be careful here. The enemies have like really ramped up. And I don't want to turn on the, uh, the, not the baby mode. That's rude. Yeah, yeah, the Mega Zoom Stone. The newest link I posted on the uh, Discord is like the best website I've found so far. It literally, it doesn't spoil things per se. It's just like, hey, progress until you get to like X city in in the storyline. And then here's the side quest that you should do if you want to unlock these features. And it's been like perfect. It's been like really good for uh, making sure that I don't miss things that I want to work on. And there's an alternate um, advancement system in the game, too, uh, after you beat uh, 1.0. There's this whole, like, jewel system where you, like, basically find jewels from monsters and you could use them to, like, upgrade your skills. And it's like a secondary leveling system. All right, just another one of these Zombo win. You should heed my words, young adventurers. To anger the mistress is to put oneself in danger. Na, 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 na. All right, there we go. We got a strike on him. Seven damage. I didn't notice there was like so many of them. I would have done the other way. Wait a minute. He said the same thing, but did different things. All right, let's do this. It's always that first swing, like, I just can't figure it out. What was that? He didn't do anything. I feel like these zombies are trying to drive me insane. Okay. Your best bet is gonna be... Yeah, yeah, we'll just do this. Never mind, he's dead. Okay, so when he does that, it does nothing. Okay, these are both at full hit points, so why don't we just stunball them with a bit of a charge? There we go. He's got to be smarter with the undead. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, DQ10 is very quickly becoming one of my favorite games uh, that I've ever played. I'm really good. It's like everything I want in an RPG. Oh, okay, I can control the raft. Awesome. Yeah, I just said today might be a short stream just because one, the sleep issue, and two, I think I have a bit of a cold, uh, which is also kind of wearing me out a little bit, so. Well, that's not. <laughs> I guess it got me here. Doesn't seem. Okay, let's check it out. This, these dungeons are getting like pretty involved already. I feel like they can't see there's got to be something that we're getting because like that's definitely like a grappling point. All right. Oh, look at that cool rib cage in there. Do you think Dalamadura was here? Maybe. All right, this seems to be the only way I can go for now. More zombos. 
Okay, good. They're at least in a row this time. Uh, if I can block that move, we'll be fine. It's too light, you stupid idiot. Okay, so that does nothing. He just kind of twitches around. I'm really messing up. That one I haven't figured out the timing yet. I'm in danger. No much danger. I should really see. I don't know if this actually affects the spell. I feel like it does do more when you charge up with that, though. Oxies. All the enemies before this play, I found the moves, like, fairly easy to read, but these guys? I don't know. It's, like, really throwing me off. Hey, everybody's in bad shape. I was gonna say that might kill him. Never mind. <laughs> well, he's not dying now. He's so much easier if we had girl with us. Okay, that one's not bad easiest move they have. Like, that one's super easy to, like, get around. He's gonna kill somebody, though. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Okay. Let's do this. He just left. All right, I'll take that. Oh, now there's treasure I can't get to. I'm not into that. Okay, well, there's three emblems, so that probably means I need to, like, find those emblems somewhere else. Okay, so there has to be something else on this lake that I can do. But so we came from there. He just jumps off here. I can't get up there. I can't go up there. I can go here. So let's do that. This has to be it. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty rad. Okay, she really does have style. Stay vigilant. Romea might be home. Oh. On that, you would be correct. I believe that is far enough. We need a soul stone to save our friend. We're going in. Then we are at an impasse, for I am bound to serve the mistress in undeath. She resurrected you from your ashes. Who are you? Generations ago, I was known as Duke Aventry. 
That is all I can remember. I'm now but a wandering spirit, forever lost in longing. Despite this cruel fate, I am blessed by ignorance as to what became of my beloved family's mansion and of the good people of Lucent. But I digress. The spectral chains that bind me to the mistress beckon. Oh shit. Please understand, this brings me no joy. On guard. That's a pretty banging boss track. Uh, you know what, let's open up with a sun ball. He doesn't have enough. That's weird, Zale's on the bottom, he's usually on the top. Uh, you know, we'll attack with the other two, because Undead seem to be weak to uh, sun power, so we'll get some of the uh, jemmy gems out. Ooh, he hits like a truck, though. Not specifically weak to sun. Oh, he missed. <laughs> you no, know, we'll play a little conservative for a minute. against the uh, poison. I don't think he has specific weaknesses. We'll try and moon on him too, though. No. done that though. Oh, never mind. Oh, this is when I should have pushed him back with her. So it only did 29 last time, so let's see what it does charged up. Okay, so it definitely does a pretty big... Well, not like a gigantic, but the stats are also not very inflated in this game, so... 44 is a pretty good heal. I got the timing right on that the first time, and now I just can't do it. Alright, he's got three... Also, I don't know if you can actually push bosses back. I'll have to try it next time he's charging something big up. I'll use an item on him. He doesn't have a combo. I don't know, he's gone. Uh, 
I believe the mistress would rather not lose her bodyguard. You may pass. But before you go, may I have a word with the blade dancer? Her speed is impressive. Have you ever tried leaning into it more fully? Here, let me show you. Yeah, he's getting a sword lesson from a zombie man. Ooh, straight. Thank you for the insight. It's bound to come in handy. As expected, you are unnatural. Safe journey, young ones. He just gave up? Well, that's nice of him. Uh, I feel like we're fine. While one of them's in bad shape, I wish I would have... If I had known he was so close to being dead, I would have... charged up their uh, health with that uh, last one. I think that was a key item. So it's fucking wizard. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to use an item on Zale or he's gonna drop. These guys in particular, the one I have highlighted, are really annoying. They have, like, the spike thing, the spikes from underground. They can heal, and then they can also just run away. So I never know which one they're going to do. And now he's not a problem. He does AoEs. Wizard's not gonna get an attack. Here we go. And we'll use the uh, Jemmy Gems to heal. Burn sun damage that hits all enemies. Okay, that's cool. Finish him. Uh, of course, the combo fills in right then. Well. Got a big four damage in. We're doing good. I'll let Valir do her thing. Oh, it fast forwarded him. It doesn't heal for a lot, but the fact that it, I believe it stops an attack. a good hiding spot for that one, though. Never mind. Ooh, peaches.
Come on, man. I believe in you. Yeah, there's definitely an item that I'm missing. Uh, let, let's try this, but I don't know the timing for it, so... Oh, okay. One down. Fuck, I'm in danger. I don't know what they were talking about at the beginning of the game, though. They're like, you think of it as a bonus. It's like, if you don't get the timing right, you get fucked. So it's not, it's not a little bonus. It's a, you gotta get the timing right or you're gonna die. Like the one um, biting move that the zombie does, if you don't get that timing correct, you just drop dead. Whereas if you get the timing right, it doesn't quite kill you. Fuck me. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna have to get to a campfire and cook. There's no way I'm going to stop this at all. Okay, get him out of the way. Maybe I should have gone straight. I don't know. I just figured I'd go from right to left kind of thing. A spectral cape. There we go. treasure. I really want a campfire. I don't want to fight another big group of zombies and wizards. Maybe I can just boogie by them. See ya! See ya! Look at that! A grapnel! 
There we go. Now we got a crack too. All right. Well, that just boosted our life up a little. Not not like in terms of the battle, so. Crap loo. Yeah. It made me attack them. Uh, okay. Best thing to do is we'll get Zale to heal her. See, the bubble's the best of the options that guy can do. The bubble is super easy to deal with. Let's try the Moonerang. This is a bad idea, though, because, like, I'm too tired today for, like, reflexive things. See, I'm doing things way too early. I'm at a sink constantly. I bet, like, that's not an excuse. Just literally my reflexes are garbage right now. And that guy's gone. The wizard's gonna kill Zale. Yeah, even with the block. It was the zombie. Fuck, I messed up. I thought the wizard was the one with the lock. Oh no, we're in trouble again. <laughs> Every fight is just a problem now. We're not sitting too pretty now. Okay, there we go. I'm feeling the uh, the limited items a little bit more. That's okay. We'll get through this together. Can I just? Okay, I can. But now there's gonna be hidden things because of enemies. Let's try this out and see if I can get the timing right on it. It's like after he goes through them. Okay, so it's as he raises his hand in the air, I'm imagining. It's 20 damage a person, like that's brutal. Considering my AOE heal can only heal like nine damage. That's a bit of a roughie. the animation for that it looks really cool yeah I want to keep using these up okay, I hate these wizards all right Yeah, I don't know what he can do, but I do know that this guy can hit all of us for, like, 20 or more damage. All three of us, eh? Yeah, 
Now he's got five moves he can do. Okay. Those things are so chaotic, it's actually insane. Alright, let's heal Bail then. But you're on your own for a round. Okay, let's see if this actually works on like sub bosses. Okay, it does. Alright, there we go. Dream Team's back up. Well, there's the better use case for her move now. Just wait until you have some uh, magic jimmies floating around the area. I think they called it natural man. I actually forget. Perfect. Oh. He's only been doing single strikes this whole time. I wasn't expecting that. All right, we'll get him close, and then we'll use the uh, combo move. You bitch. Of course, he went for Valir. Okay, that's fine. We'll just make sure we don't kill him. I don't have three turns to waste waiting for him, though. Actually, we will, because it'll make the next fight whenever that is a lot easier. Crystal. Yeah, that's what I thought. This will help too, because back in the village there was like a spot I could go to with that. I didn't realize this was so far back. need to cook some food. We're in bad shape. I definitely want... Actually, let's see. What do I all have for AoE? Here's KO and 50 hit points for an ally. We'll have two of those. 
because most of the time you can just ride it out. Um, 60 HP for an ally. About 50. 35. We'll do three of these. I think anybody has 60, so let's just do that. Or maybe one of them do, but this is fine. Okay, there. I didn't want to bitch out, but I was like, I made too many mistakes in there. can get over here now. I see. An enchanted scar. Uh, magic attack. I don't use magic on her a lot, though. Attack power. Valir, we do use magic a lot, though. So maybe we should give her magic attack. We'll give her standard attack. Because uh, Valyra, I usually use the Moonerang for, like, AoE and that. Although, it's fine. That'll work. I would like the waves back there just for that. Something down there. It's a clam. boat should still be over there okay well i was actually i was wondering what was over there so that answered that oh they're all back i feel like sunball is like the more reliably damaging ability Oof. I like the Moonerang ability, but like the noise it makes can be a little grating just because you end up using it a lot because it's a good ability, right? So over time, but it's like you need that sound almost because it's um, a really good audio cue for when you're using it, right? Perfect. Right, that's one out. See that one? Okay. If I can catch the mud as it appears, I can do it.
so they can attack other enemies, heal, disappear, attack you, use lightning, use the ground thing, and use the spikes. So they have seven different moves. All the versatile guy. Let's use a heal now. Hey, what? Didn't realize there was a campfire right here. I forgot about that. Sorry. Actually, I don't even think I saw it yet because I went in the water here. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Sorry about that. Now let's get this boy. Maybe he doesn't have any friends. Perfect. I wonder if you time the attack if it stopped the um, damage shield from going away. Oh shit, he broke his shield. Ooh, okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Couldn't tell. He did a three strike, so I couldn't actually see it. There we go. All right, I just got to remember they're weak to poison. We'll be sitting pretty. Right to left worked out fine. I feel like I made the right choice. All those guys. Let's try this. So as he lifts his hand. There we go. Okay. Really good, Rocket. I really, really like this game. How you doing today? Good to see ya. It's it's like really good. It's like it's harder than I thought it would be, but I'm also I'm really tired, so I'm having a lot of focus issues. That's good to hear. Do I want to moonerang them? I feel like that's what I want to do. Doing good. I'm still having like um my like insomnia has been really out of control this last week, so. I've been running on like three and a half to four hours of sleep for like this is like day six and I'm I'm running out of, I'm running out of gas. I'll say that. I might have to go see the old doctor and see if he can recommend something to me because I can't function like this very much longer. Too tired. I was going to say, that's got to kill them. Yeah, I, well, I have bouts of it. Like, I, it's usually not this bad, though. This is this is the worst it's been in a long time. Glad I made a path. Am 
must be another path up here I can take. No? I, I've always had sleeping issues ever since I was like a baby. Um, like even when I was like a little baby, I had a lot of trouble sleeping and stuff like that. So it's just been something throughout my life. Like I used to be on, like I used to have sleeping pills that I had to take. Um, but I haven't needed them for a really long time. But it's been, it's just been a little bit uh, brutal the last week or so. So. Like I've gotten used to, like I usually only sleep five to six hours a night, but that like loss of like one and a half to two hours is like, you know, when I already don't sleep that much, it, uh, it hits me really hard. Well, let's use up one of our meals. Like, what is this? Moon Cradle Fit. Wait, 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 wait. Party. Okay, well, let's use a party heal then. There we go. Yeah, it just comes and goes. I was saying I don't know if this was the game to play because this game has a lot of um, button presses and stuff like that in the combat system. So I was like, I don't know if this was the best one for it, but I'm doing okay now that I got into the groove of it. We'll just hit him with the old Moonerang. I wonder what the record is for somebody doing that. I bet there's somebody that can do that like an obscene amount of times. Go there. Really? I feel like that would just frustrate me. That's why I haven't been streaming Monster Hunter lately uh, because I get really bitchy at Monster Hunter when I'm tired because I can't uh, get really, really, really bad at dodging when I'm tired. I find MMOs are good because I'll just do something monotonous. Like, I'll, you know, I'll, like, craft or just go out gathering or just grind for a bit. And then that's not... It's enough that I'm not, like, bored while I'm tired, but it's enough that I'm not, like, being, like, super stimulated while I'm sleepy, so... Because all I do is I just get ready for bed, and then the second I feel like I'm going to sleep. No, I know. I know your tricks, Rocket. Oh my god. I'm just thinking, like, right now, if I loaded up Dark Souls 3, I bet you I couldn't even beat the first boss that's, like, outside of Fire... Like, the, uh... Oh, I don't even remember the name of it. The first shrine. Firelink Shrine. Gundir, or whatever its name was. Uh, I would like to take out a wizard, but that's not in the card, so let's get this guy. I'm gonna have to eat two of these. Such a bitchy move to give to normal enemies, though. I don't know if I like that. It's all enemies. I thought it hit all enemies. Hit all enemies. I don't understand the timing for that. Like if I tried to do the uh, afflicted Gormagala right now, or sorry, if I tried to do the afflicted, um... What the hell is that thing called? Figaro Magala, I would probably rip my hair out out of frustration. I would just go crazy. And 
we're in bad shape. This place is a little, a little rough. are in the way, so... Okay, there we go. And we'll hop over here, get a strike on that boy. You know what? Best bet is probably going to be to do Lunar Shield. I never expect them to hit because they always do magic. Bum, bum. Right, we gotta get some magic points back. Okay, good. Perfect. Are they all leaving? I find it weird that all the undead seem to be weak to um, poison. These guys are weird, Rocket. They have like seven or eight different moves they can do, and for like using time blocks, they're hard to deal with. But one of their moves is they just kind of dance, and then another one of their moves they just leave. But they always do that little disco pose beforehand, uh, so there's not even like a tell until the move's about to go off. And I'm not really good at telling them very well. This one's easy, because you just do it as you hit the ground. Boop. And that's about it. That's the easiest move that they have, besides just leaving. There we go. Okay, I finally got the timing on that one. I had a feeling it was right as it appeared. Okay. Yeah, this is probably one of the better RPGs I've played in a long time. Like, I really, really like it. Um... It's, it's been like, it's like the story's interesting so far. Like this, it's still kind of early days, I think, because it hasn't really ramped up, but I don't know, I've been really enjoying it. I think I went this way. Did I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, so you can do um, button presses as your attacks land, and then there's button presses as enemy attacks land. Yeah, and it's got, it's pretty customizable, so you can find these relics as you're playing the game. But you can turn it on if you want to. You can turn on so that you heal the full after each battle. Um, you can reduce damage taken by 30%. I have this one turned on uh, because anytime I successfully do the button presses, a little star flies out of my guy. So it's just helping me learn the timing, but I can turn that off and there's no feedback. Um... Removes the 20% damage resistance enemies has. So, like, there's a lot of customization as you play through it. But, and, like, the pixel art and the music and everything is, like, just awesome. I really, really like it. Yeah, I like that you can kind of customize your own, like, uh, you know, like, your own challenge. Like, I'm trying to do it without turning on the auto heal, uh, but this place is rough. Like, I'm getting my ass kicked a little bit in here. Like, I've had a few battles where I've ended up, like, almost dead. Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll heal. And it's kind of cool. The magic system is when you do physical attacks, you regenerate mana. So having full mana is kind of a waste because every time you physically attack, you're going to regenerate it anyway. So you might as well use it and then regenerate it when you need to. But you don't want to leave yourself too far down. Uh, I think one of these guys will do it, but they have, like, moves where they have, like, locks above their head based on, like, magic type and physical damage and blunt damage. 
um, and you can stop enemies from using certain attacks if you use the right types of damage against them. I hate these things. I can never get their first swing down. Uh, let's actually heal the Leer. It's really cool. Like, the, the battle system is, you know, it's not like anything crazy, but there's enough to it that it's like fully keeping my interest. And then anytime you do physical attacks, those like little orbs get left in the air and you can use them to add magic to your attacks and also kind of boost uh, damage and like healing power if you use a healing spell. They've been kind of like steadily adding things into it as I've been playing it. And there's a little bit of customization as you level, like you get to pick what stat gets a boost. What do I want? I feel like physical defense would be nice because I feel like we're taking some big hits. My boy Garl gets to level up. Yeah, we'll just physical defense. Everybody's getting a physical defense this time. All right, I'm feeling good now. Lear's kind of becoming a bit of a tank. And the dungeons have been like nice and like fairly intricate. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any complaints. I feel like I made a good purchase. I feel like I don't want to drop down. You know what I'm just, no, I can't drop down. And it's nice to get a little break from my crippling addiction to Dragon Quest X. <laughs> you get crap, bitch! Ah, oh, I hate that move so much. Uh, if I can get one more physical attack off without killing him... Fuck. That's my fault. I shouldn't have done the double move. And I love this grappling hook. The grappling hook's cool. Maybe that wizard will get close and I can grapple him. Probably not. Never mind, I gotta do it this way. I <laughs> got him. All right, these guys are nah, the wizards are the bigger problem. All right, here's what we'll do. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Love it. I don't like losing the experience, which I assume is what happens when they leave, but those guys are annoying, so I'm like down when they go away. These wizards can fuck off, too. I hate them. Okay, so even if you block, you still lose your damage shield. That's a little disappointing. Oh well. There we go. Sorry, I get really negative when I'm tired. I actually really like the game. I'm just being bitchy today. Lamp. Gotta go from above there. Where's the Skeleman at? Okay, 
Okay, so that's out here now. All this just for one of those uh, skelly men. I like it too because you have to like get you gather food and like you can go fishing and stuff. And because you can only carry uh, ten healing items, but you can make you make your healing items so you cook them at your campfire. Uh, so you have to make sure you're like gathering ingredients while you play or buying them and finding recipes to have better healing items as you go forward. Which I love, because it's got crafting and fishing, which are like two of my favorite things to do in video games. Two wizards. Okay, let's see if I can actually get the timing right on this. Lear doesn't have enough to do anything. He can't kill it. Okay, the only thing I can try... Venom starts hit all enemies. This is the only move, like, I don't quite understand how it works. Press A on a throw. Never mind, I got it. Oh, get faster. Cool. Okay, I like that. Now that I understand the timing, that's awesome. Alright, and then we want Valir to get boosted up because I can do a group heal with her. Once there's more jemmies. I knew he's gonna kill her. That's fine. That's less fine. Fuck me, he hits hard. I can't get the timing right. God damn. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to just do it this way. He'll have half health anyway. Oh, now I get it right when I have a damage shield. Oh, well. there you go. All right, that's third Skeleton. Delicious. No, that's not the way out. I went the wrong way. We'll hit the camp. And then we will probably go fight a big boy boss, I imagine. Wow, well, there's probably more dungeon in there. I haven't seen any of those emblems. They might either be way more hidden than what I thought, or I don't know. Oh, that's what all the ruckus was. I might change the voice. She looks evil. And what brings you to my delectable estate? We're looking for a soul stone to save our best friend's life. Oh. 
I suppose I should simply give you one then. I have a better idea. How about the three of you join my army permanently? Not happening. Oh, look at you talking, courteous Eratos. Eratosis, all seriously. You bodged in here uninvited and caused irreparable damage to my property, did you not? Seems only fair you would compensate me for my troubles. Don't get overconfident. They're fully trained soulless warriors. Solstice warriors I can't read. Hmm. This is getting interesting. Are you like the Selena and Luan wannabes who thought they would ascend by fighting me? What are you talking about? An irrelevant matter, much like your very selves. Let us begin, and please, don't worry. You won't stay dead for long. Ooh. Right, Skeleman. Well, I can't do Moon and Double Hammer. Wait, maybe I can do this. There we go. We, we got it now. We know what we're doing. I don't know what those are, but I might as well hit all of them, right? And there we go. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. She can't disorient again. Oh, no. Okay, I can get rid of three locks by using Moonerang. And I can get rid of... Two more locks with her. And then I can charge Zale. Okay, the only thing I can really do. Or no, no, I don't have enough. Okay, well at least I can get rid of all but one. I don't know what that does. You know what, I feel like I should hold up Disorient for now with her. Just keep it on the background. That was cool. It's not what I wanted to use those for, but fine. Yeah, she keeps making me have to waste these. I 
that's fine. Get one more in. Now we're in better shape. I can't do anything about it. Okay, all I can do is... You can't weaken it, so it's either stop it or don't stop it. Okay, well that helped. I meant to hit the zombie. it takes out the guy i want to get better at that one that one i'm like still really not used to but i feel like once i do it's going to be pretty good and it's not as loud as uh, the moon ring is and that'll stop this Necromancer. Oh, how could you defeat me? You're so great. Children, I swear, I'm not about to die over a stupid rock. I yield, but now. I like your fascinator. I think it's very nice. It's your soul stone. Thank you. Now we can save our best friend. Now go away. We. What now? <laughs> You're pushing it, Sarai. We also need a green flame, otherwise the ferryman won't take us back. You do want us to go, don't you? <laughs> the nerve. The disrespect! Grab a bottle from my desk, then get off my estate! Thank you. your blessings if we meet again it won't be a simple three versus one it wasn't three versus one you summoned leave <laughs> it's chirping this necromancer <laughs> okay we got a soul stone let's hope we're not too late hang in there girl we're coming see my thing is like just seal this like you just did and then we can't get at you that's your fault. You opened the door when we killed a bunch of your skeleton. It's on her. She has a flawed door system. I can, like, go back pretty much fully from the, uh, the other side there. There we go. 
That was fun. It was a rough start, but we got through it. I feel like up here. No, 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 no. Never mind. I'm thinking of the place out like further south to here. So what was that, uh... We got an item. Oh, for Teeks. Oh, yes, 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 that's true. Okay, so we get to, we can listen to a new story. That's nice. You have returned with a soul stone. Quite impressive. So I suppose this means the mistress will be quite upset with me. The exit path is to the right. You'll have to make good use of your Graplau. I hope you can get to your friend in time. Farewell. I like him. He's super nice for a Zombo. Me and this grappling hook are going to be like the best of friends. Like, grappling hooks are nothing new in video games, but I just really like them. I went too far. Now that I know, like, mushroom soup is a good group heal, so I gotta make sure I don't, like, skip mushrooms. I've been pretty good about grabbing the food, though. I don't think I've been missing too, too many things. I feel like I got everything over here, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Green flame you found, I see. Aboard my raft, I welcome thee. Oh, my precious guard. I feel bad that she gave up that coin, though. How does this work? It's pulsing. Maybe if I just... It worked. Great, Sarai. How long do you think the poison will... Sarai? She left. Okay, we got our precious baby boy girl back. We didn't even get to thank her. What a strange character. Might as well get comfortable. This could take a while. Did she steal that item I gave her, though? Like, do I get that back in my inventory? <laughs> and then you're all, well, if I don't get a sword, how will I do backflips? You're one to talk with your bulwark of the innocence thing. I'm so glad you gave that up. To be fair, we did help a bunch of people already. Sure, there's just no need to act all grand about it. If we're ever to ascend as the solar one, I will be the spark. Ah, oh, stop it, I was ten. Later, something happened when he got mind controlled. What do you mean? I don't understand it. It was like a floodgate opened in the pit of my stomach. Like when we were first learning magic? Sort of, but way stronger. Do you think it was the Dweller? No, it didn't feel evil, or even bad. The response to seeing Garl in danger? But I couldn't let it in. I feared it would overwhelm me. Maybe I could have helped him, but... If Sarai hadn't showed up, he... Yeah, we're all safe now. That's all that matters. I think that was my prophecy. What do you mean? 
The Elder Mist, he told me that I had potential. So first he needed to stare at the night inside of me. I think this is what he meant. I thought of losing a loved one. I felt the power, but I couldn't actualize it. I wouldn't overthink it. Prophecies are not swayed by the attention we give them. Aren't you curious about yours? He said I might be able to create paths on water. What does that even mean? Yeah, talk about cryptic. You could probably make ice of the layer like it's not hard. The way I look at it, it's going to happen or not, no matter how much I lose sleep over it. It's such a relaxed outlook. I wish I was born on the winter solstice too. <laughs> you and Erlina sure have more intensity. I suppose you and I even each other out in a way. It's part of why we make a good team. I guess. Maybe it's because stealing my live mana helps you show off. <laughs> Forget it, you do it way more than I do. Charles! Charles! Hey, I... Welcome back, girl. I just had a really bad dream, you guys. Safe now, buddy. Don't worry about it. What happened? Remember how we couldn't stop that villager from entering the mansion? It's a bit blurry, but yeah. Well. We had to go fight a necromancer. Whoa, you mean she could kind of teleport? Like carving magic gates out of thin air somehow. This is too much. Hopefully we'll meet her again. I've got to see that. Welcome to the first stage of grief. Please have a seat and I'll be right over. Thank you, innkeeper. We won't be staying long. Why, of course not. Hey, that's the headmaster's voice. They're here. Well, look who made it here on time. Hey, everyone, it's so good to see you. The eclipse is upon us. I should provide you a briefing. We wouldn't want one of you to end up mind-controlled by the Dweller, now would we? Ah, oh, that happened already. Excuse me? We went into the woods and the Dweller mind-controlled me, but an assassin used paralyzing poison to buy some time, and they went to fight a necromancer and... <laughs> Necromancer? You mean to tell me Zalen Valir fought Romea and lived? We had help. These two, I swear. No matter, we must leave for the Dweller's Lair at once. I will explain on the way. Last chance to make preparations. Let me know when you're ready. Brigades. Okay, one sec here. We'll save twice just for funsies. Alright, that's where I'm gonna leave it for today, because like I said, I'm like <laughs> I'm dying on my feet, I'm too tired, but I wanted to at least make a little bit of progress in this because I'm really enjoying this game and I want to keep rolling. So tomorrow, I'm so sorry, Rocket, I'm dying. <laughs> um, tomorrow we are going to roll right into it and we're going to get base. I guess we're going to see what the dwellers all about, which I've been curious about. Uh, but I just feel like it'll probably be a whole big, long thing. And I'm going to try to go to sleep, but like it, it hasn't been working, but we might as well try. Thank you, Rocket. Um, so anyway. For the rest of this week, my going plan, I haven't fully decided yet, but tomorrow we'll do some more Sea of Stars, check out the Dweller, see what's going on there. Wednesday and Thursday, it's either going to be some Monster Hunter or it's going to be more Dragon Quest X. I haven't decided yet, like I'm really, really enjoying playing through Dragon Quest X, but I'm also kind of missing Monster Hunter, so I haven't 100% decided yet. You'll just kind of know uh, based on what I do on Wednesday and Thursday. 
But regardless, I want to thank you very much for joining me for some Sea of Stars. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you again some other time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.